Go! All those flying his new PSP. Josh, you're putting the concentration off. This is him just trying to find the on button. Oh, but Zach, it's gotta be somewhere, right? I mean, it's got triangle, pizza, circle. I think it's like there. Oh. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Hello and welcome to NBC's of Wild Mount, uh, with myself Oliver Dungeon Master and Dave, Dave reviewing... Technically. Reviewing, <laughs> reviewing Critical Role Campaign 2 Episode 10. We're in the double digits with the new campaign. Ah oh, yeah. Or if you're reading it in binary, I think it's A or B. Don't, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, probably. Yeah, um, it's a binary, are. yes. People are just like, I wonder what that is in <laughs> <a> binary. <laughs> hey, man, this is the shit that I think about, all right? It doesn't um, make it relevant. It, it makes it relevant to me. My coffee is far too hot. I can't hold it. This is his like, first... Oh, God. No. I'll hold, you can't complain about your <laughs> coffee being hot if you, and you're not actually doing anything about it. Fix the <laughs> problem right now. <laughs> Fix it. How? We're filming. Putting it down. No, it's mine. Fuck. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> welcome along. Um, interesting. I'm trying to think of something I can complain about and then just not do anything about it. <laughs> oh, my beanie's not on straight. <laughs> well, I don't know what to do about it. I, I know I could move it, but that would just be ridiculous and too easy to fix the problem. This is what NBC's of Wild Mount has become. Just this. God, I. <laughs> <laughs> Frustrating. I, I see where you're coming from. You know, trying to actively find solutions to problems rather yeah, than playing the victim. Yeah, and fixing a problem and yeah. instead of just, you know, complaining about it and doing nothing about it. They call it playing the victim. Um, yeah, <laughs> you're playing the victim. Yeah. I, I'm going to just drink some coffee now. It, the, people don't like that, though. Yes. No. All right, anyway, let's go. Yeah, so <laughs> that was a good, like, five minutes. Um, welcome along. Review, yeah, episode 10. So, uh, mm. a little bit of combat. And finally the party is on their way to, to, to doing stuff. They, they're, they're active, they're not just shopping and, and, and tracking everything. And it went back to one of the, the nuggets they were from last episode as well, of, of what to do next. Yeah. So we'll, we'll go through it. So the episode starts off with Jester talking about the Traveller to the team. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and I'm kind of learning kind of that relationship of how it works. I don't know if it's it's maybe a bad wife syndrome. Is that <laughs> she's, not, she's just going along with it. I don't yeah. know. That kind of relationship, but it's very complicated. There's also been tons of theories sur uh, surrounding the Traveller. Uh, some people think that there's something more sinister going on, that the Traveller is actually one of the darker gods. Mm. And, and um, taking advantage of, a, of, of her innocence. innocence. Yeah. yeah, and there might be some kind of malevolent force behind him. Or uh, There's another theory that we'll mention at the end. Yeah, cause... someone commented of a different theory that we're going to mention and talk about. Because we thought it was really good, so mm. that's our featured comment for this, uh, for this week. Mm. So yeah, so a little bit of interaction with the traveller, and I, I think I'm with you guys. I think there's, I think there's something more going on with that. Just, just knowing the storytelling of these guys, I think there's, there's some deeper, yeah, there's something darker going on. thing there. I just don't know whether it's good. Yeah, and that would kind of devastate Jester. Yeah, and that would be interesting, mm -hmm. very sad. But if it, if it, if he is trying to aim for good, yeah, he, she. The Traveller? I don't think we've actually had it since before. Yeah, I think, I think it's always... Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, um, also, yeah. at this point, I think other players have picked up on this kind of waviness as well, because Bo actually, right at the start, uh, rolls insight, I think, to, to try and figure out... She, she doubts the Traveller's actually a god. She thinks that it's just some kind of, mm. maybe, message cantrip or something, of, of some person manipulating Jester. Do you think it's a god? Her. I think it's a god. I think it's a god, but I'm going to go with Dark God. I think it's like maybe the trickster god. It's either a god or someone that can well, someone communicate so without being there. Yeah. And I mean, there, there was someone that said that, um, yeah, trickster is the is the domain. So yeah, I mean, could, no, no, that's, that's be, the of jester though, not yeah. the deity. Yeah, no, I know, deity. I know, I know, but it could be it could be um, Prince of Lies pretending to be the traveler because no one's heard of the traveler, so it, it could it could be. Uh, yeah, the, the trucks to the domain and the trucks to God it kind of lines up a little bit. Mm, mm. I don't know. That one's going to be an interesting one to keep track of. Yeah, um, it's like Caleb Watch. We're going to keep our eye on Traveller Watch as well. And Package Watch? And Package Nothing Watch. Nothing happened with Package Watch this Nothing week. Nothing happened with Package <laughs> no. Watch. 
Um, all right, so we have um, got to continue with the episode. So we, yeah. um, the team last episode agreed to hunt a little creature mm. down the sewers. Matt um, did something which I love uh, when DMs do, which was give the parties like three or four potential quest lines they could follow with the hero's notice board mm. and let them decide. Yeah. Um, that does make the experience for the players a lot more satisfying when they can go, that's the one that we want to find. And a lot more open. Yeah, exactly. A lot more open. So that was cool. Uh, Caleb buys some clothes. Because when he tried to use disguise self, I think it was to 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 pass himself off as a lord, uh, they had dispel magic. Essentially, it didn't mm. work, so he decided to make himself look a little, a little bit nicer, more um, shinier. Yeah, exactly. Did they plan? They plan. They plan. Classic kind of Valksmark in a style, and they head to the sewers. Yeah. They head to the sewers. <laughs> I already was there. I was just waiting for you to get there. <laughs> yeah. So, um, essentially, there's been, like, uh, guards going missing down here and yeah. a lot of webbing. So, we initially just went, yeah, spiders. And, yeah, kind of correct. Yeah, basically. And, I mean, but they all assumed it was a spider. And it turned out to be a spider. A phase spider. <laughs> a phase spider. But before that, they did do a little battling with some rats. Yeah. Which I think is, is kind of Matt's way of weakening, weakening them a little bit. Yeah. Some mobs before a boss battle. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Um, and that's basically what they so did. That, um, that's the first roll initiative. And not steals the hell you want to do this while they fight the the rats. Steals it off Bo, you could say. Yep. Um, I'd like to. I'd like to do my MVP of the week, which is uh, which is not. No, it, it, it's not going to happen if I disagree with it. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna just like believe in myself, and I'm gonna do the arm motion yeah. of the text anyway. Ah! And I'll make it pop up two seconds later, <laughs> just to spite me. Yeah. Ah! I'll just keep doing it then. Eventually, it has to sync up. I'm just gonna make sure it's just not there with like arms on the screen. Or something. Stop it! Move on. Uh, not as my as my um, not. MVP of the week. Why? Because some of the movements in this episode were so goddamn funny that I was just laughing my ass off. I mean, that's Sam Regal, but. Yeah, at the end when he was trying to steal from Ford. Yeah, yeah um, uh, that was I had me in hysterics. And okay, we'll go with that. Yes! You get it. Yeah. Um, it, it was just like, for me, it was just like watching, you know, the, 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 the show that we fell in love with, Vox Mark, and it was just like watching those guys, they've hit their stride now, I think, with the characters, and uh, kind of Interacting more, and the, hmm. they're playing with each other's personalities. Absolutely, 100%, and not did that beautifully this episode. In fact, sometimes, you know, people watch these reviews because they want to they wanna catch up, they've missed an episode. If you've missed this one, I'd actually recommend going back and watching it. It was one of my favourites from the new campaign. Watch like the last hour of the episode, if you, yeah. you want to miss it. you've got your time crunch. Yeah. yeah. Um, one thing I did notice during the battle, mm. and for the other battle as well, is the three panel, oh, it's a four panel view now. So yeah. we've, got, we've got Matt Mercer at the top. Table A. Well, same table, but... Let's just say Matthew Mercer at the top. <laughs> um, then, we've, then we've got, um, the say, right side table, then left side table, yeah. and then the actual battle. Yeah. And I think that's a really good layout. Yeah, I was actually... I actually had that in my notes. I wanted to bring that up with you. Yeah, it's beautiful. I did it. Um, because, um, be because they use such wonderful Dwarven Forge maps with, mm. like, hand-painted miniatures that get sent in by fans, and they've just got a huge collection of that anyway... We want to see more of that because mm. it helps us engage in the, in the and combat. Because it's ideas as well. Yeah, absolutely. I thought I thought we should do this, but I think we need we need we need better maps and more like you know. No, it's your stream now. I'm 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 stuck here. You're you're gonna be. Fine. Yeah, well, when I, when it gets back online, I'm definitely mm. gonna mess around with the, the layout. I just thought this was brilliant because it, it lets us focus on where everyone is, and that way we can kind of go as an audience, like the same thing as when you're watching sports. Which you should go there. You should do this. You should kind of cast the spell, jump back a bit, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which so so. I like that, and that was a really good addition. It means you can always see the map now, and or see all the players and their reactions at the same time. So yeah, I think it was perfect. Also, cool stuff. Um, Ford is really loving his mage armor. Uh, he has like ice armor. I think it's mage armor, some kind of ice armor. Mm. Um, anytime someone hits him with a melee, they 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 take ten ice damage, which is for level like three, pretty pretty good. Pretty, pretty yeah. good. So a rat actually bites him, and then just instantly dies from the frost damage. Nice mm. work, Ford, in picking that one. Uh, that's my note about the new comment. Uh, um, the web. I've just got a mess in web. Oh, so you have the webbing now. Anyway, so they move on for the first battle. What now that they, 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 I don't know, I want half this. I don't know what all of this stuff actually means. Caleb, the writing's are ridiculous. Caleb want to use unseen servant Shimmerkit. Smith. Oh yeah, Smith. Okay, I thought it said Shimmerkit. Anyway, so they move on and they start to find a lot, a lot of webbing. Um, and dead bodies, and obviously the spider has been having its good fun time 
<laughs> eating bodies. Yeah. Um, now webbing, webbing is cool to use in a, in, a, in a combat because it counts as difficult terrain, but not for the spider. So mm. anyone that moves, any player that moves through webbing, yeah, it takes you know, double movement to get through it, but a spider can just like dance right on top of it. That's, that's a cool element. And they actually do find a halfling survivor. Yeah, and Matt actually describes a really quite gory, beautiful horror scene. Uh, these like opening like it's a weird combination of, of words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beautiful, gory. <laughs> yeah. horror. I don't know what. So you, you go to hospitals, you're like, this is beautiful. Like yeah. go to surgery, you're like this yeah. is amazing. People, I'm like, I'm like, where am I, Ray? Like critiquing the artwork. Like look at the way the gangrene is set. You watch legs. Saw and you're just in tears of beauty. So <laughs> wonderful <laughs> yeah. the way his head twisted 360 degrees around, and we got to hear each vertebrae cracking like an old cracker. You must love Mortal Kombat. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually I figured out Kano's fatality on the original on uh, Game Boy Advance, Ford Ford Down A B no Ford Ford Down Ford A B just through trial and error. I sat there for three days. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> I care. I do. That was the biggest accomplishment of my young life. I was like six at the time. Nobody still cares. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of like shows a little bit about my upbringing when I was playing. Move Mortal. the fuck on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you get this. Hint. This is a prompt that. Okay. Move right. on. I've got beautiful horror scene. Big bite marks. People webbed to walls. Um, now Can we talk about the halfling survivor. Like I'm at. <laughs> okay. Or do we want just like just go wherever you want? Go, what, what do you want to talk about right now, Ollie? <laughs> so, Mortal Kombat was a great game. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> their name was Thad. Yeah. Um, but we don't really find out a lot about it because a big blue spider appears. Thad Jarvis. Yeah. Um, so, essentially, yeah. the spider is, again, beautifully described by Matt, who, who gives it justice uh, in terms... I think, like, sometimes he will refer to the monster manual images, and sometimes he'll make it up in his head of what they look like. Mm. Um, so, that, that was a beautiful description. Uh, then, um, oh, Maledict. Molly used Maledict. So, um, what, the spider attacks forward, right? And uh, we're talking like classic point da poison damage, con save, success. Are we talking about classic? I can't stop saying classic. I know, what's with you? I don't you know. You need to come up with better words. Say, uh, you're an actor. But I'm going to get a Act thesaurus. Act like you don't know the word classic. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so instead of a traditional um, poison damage, which is a con save on a success, you take half the damage, it's how poison works. Uh, Ford fails his save and Molly jumps in and goes, I'm going to use Maledict uh, to half the damage. It's a reaction that Molly can use on someone else. Perfect. Mm. Great use of that. Um, and also um, Ford nearly falls, mm -hmm. but Ford has a thing. Yes. Which makes him just, because he's half orc, he yep. gets a racial ability. That means he only go, he goes down to basically one hit point. Half, half orc resilience. Yeah, yeah. So well done. He has a thing. He has a thing. Molly gets the how do you want to do this? Yeah. Yep. Um, and Molly also takes the hits for um, Yasha at yep. one time. Yep. Um, yep. Which is very interesting. That God, was, I miss Yasha. That was a character moment. Yep. I would say more than a battle moment. Yeah. Because Yasha could take it. Barbarian could yep. take that hit. And she she actually used uh, rage. Mm. I would like to rage, but and and oh, Ashley was like, I would like one thing that I'm a bit disappointed about when it comes to Ashley is that because she's been out of the game so long, it takes her a while to get back into yeah. it and yeah. to be as vocal and yeah. and engaging as much as everybody else. Yeah. Which I find, I mean, it's not her fault. It's no. just the way things are set up. Yeah. It's just it, it does bother me because if you look back on this episode, name one thing Ashley said. Exactly. <laughs> well, see, I know this is a DM, uh, and it's why I run my games weekly. Because uh, two weekly, or, or, or monthly, mm. every three weeks, the first half hour is kind of Just what? trying to get back into what? it. Mm. And even just with the role play, it's more like, I, 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 mm. and you, you're not with mm. your character. And it's not, not nothing, there's no gripe no, no. about Ashley, it's, no, just, no. it's just the way D&D &D is, and because mm. she's been out of the game for so long, and also she's spent the least amount of time with her character than anyone else. Yes, yeah. I mean, she's literally, on, this is only a third session playing Yasha, yeah, when yeah. you think about yeah. it. Um... Yeah, it's kind of like I'm, I'm just waiting to know more about Yasha, the personality. You kind of get the yeah. whole kind of, you know, the br the brute kind of standoffinish kind of um, straightforwardness. Yeah. But there's also deeper layers like all the characters. Yeah, so we do. We want to see more of Yasha. Quit, quit your jobs. Just just play D&D for us. That would be fantastic. Uh, my drawing this week is of uh, Bo. Are you um, seriously doing this drawing thing every week? I am now. No. Um, <laughs> so this is uh, Bo freaking out when she put her goggles on. Alright, there we go. There we go. You're like a, like a child <laughs> that needs approval from people. Can I put this on the fridge? No. We're done? You, you don't live here. I don't care if I don't live here. Okay. I want it on the fridge. You, you put it on the fridge, it will literally be in the bin in like 
a minute after you leave. I'm happy with that. That's fine. Um, like now I had, I had written down that I'm, I'm kind of I'm craving the the massive story arc stuff. I know level three, you yeah. lead up to you gotta that. you got to be patient with It's that. round about level like five, I think, that you're supposed to be like the, well-known as a group. You can't save the world level five. I know, I know, but I'm craving like a you, Briarwood arc. I remember our games, you tried to make it that epic. It's like, we haven't really deserved it. I know, but that that's that was my first campaign. Yeah, I know, I was, yeah. I was watching Critical Role at the end. And you wanted it to be at that level, yeah. I, no, I just thought that's what it was. Oh. I thought that's what, you know, parties were supposed to be doing. But I realized actually at lower levels, you're just supposed to be You doing. can't have to build up to it. Because yeah. like, if you save the world... It's like it's like kind of it's like Marvel and like the Avengers and stuff. It's yeah. like you have to up the scale every time as you grow. But if you go if you go from you save the entire universe. What do you do next? What do you do next? You can't <laughs> well, save like the entire a, like multiverse. And that's, then, yeah, that's true. Mega. I don't know what's more than multiverse. It's like um the tri the triverse, which is the three multiverses. Yeah. Um, but it's like it's like it's like um it's like Dragon Ball Z. You know? No, yeah, uh, that was Super Saiyan level 90 with this. Well, I know, no, like, the power I'm watching Dragon Ball Z. Ridiculous. It's like uh, uh, Super Saiyan and then Super Saiyan 2, Super yep. Saiyan 3, then Super Saiyan God, then Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, yeah. and then Super Saiyan. Oh no, then it's um, like Ultra Instinct. It gets and then insane. there's Mega Ultra Instinct. Yeah. It's just it's like dig Digivolutions. I've been watching Digimon because I actually found out Okay, that Critical Role, we'll, we'll be moving on. <laughs> I get to talk about Dragon Ball Z. You got to talk about your stupid Mortal Kombat. Fine, I'm happy with that. Um, I realise we're otherwise going banned. Nah, yeah, that's true. Um, they also find spider eggs, shudder, um, and they sacred flame that shit away. After they kill the spider, because oh, yeah, they do right. kill the spider. Molly gets the how do you want to do this. Yep. Uh, they free the halfling, who I don't trust at all. Um, don't trust the halfling. Uh, I'm not sure why. Just instinct. Um, and then racist. Uh, Ford finds that one of these people uh, have, has a seaweed, a seaweed sword. Yeah, a mm. seaweed sword. Uh, finds that he's actually a, a sailor. And Ford kind of perks up. You could see Travis kind of get excited. Like maybe this is a bit of story backgroundish stuff for mm. my character, kind of thing. Mercer, Mercer also got a, a whisper from the inside of the halfling, um, and they kind of get a reward from the halfling of like a secret kind of. Password thingy. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't really elaborate. I guess we'll find out probably next episode or. So if you line. are a rogue playing in Legion or World of Warcraft, your entrance to the class hall is very similar to what they got. Essentially, you walk up to the person behind the counter, give them a key phrase. Which what was it? it was I think I wrote it down. Uh, I thought I wrote it down too, but I can't read my writing. No, I don't have it written down. I should have. I wrote chili bins. Because the other guy... Uh, oh, oh, here there. it is. I like a drink, but I have no coin, but I offer many gifts. Uh, mm. That's the sentence that essentially lets you into the Thieves' Underworld yeah. of Zadash. Now, um, we found this out because not used Thieves' Can't, which if you don't know what that is, that's a, a language that rogues get, and it's a language that allows you to hide words in casual conversations. Secret language. So essentially, thieves can communicate with each other, and, and say something like, easy mark, over here. Secret language. Um, or, 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 or like, danger, don't steal from that guy, kind of thing. But in seemingly normal Secret conversation. Language. Seemingly normal conversation. <laughs> you could just be like, hey, it's nice, it's nice and sunny outside out there, but the way you say it kind of hints at something else. Oh, like a secret language. For fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> So they find out that I know how to break Ollie. Because <laughs> you had lots of practice at it playing in my goddamn game. Yeah. For that was how great. many months? Um yeah, so we find out that he's a bit of a rogue himself. That's cool because mm. that gives not something to do. Um interestingly, uh Molly at this point uh, is talking about the tattoos. Uh this, this, this guy has. He says, "Does anything about his tattoos irritate me?" And then he says, "You know what I mean." To Matt. Mm. Matt thinks about it and goes, no. But I was like, what? what is that pertaining to? So I'm thinking that he, that Molly, has some tattoos that's kind of like a clan tattoo. Oh, right. Like a gang tattoo or something like that. Yeah. And then there would be someone from another gang or group that would have an opposing one. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a good theory. Cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add Molly watch. What's your theory? Package watch. That we're not. Said... Stop, we're gonna stop with his watches. <laughs> I'm, I don't. We're gonna run out. <laughs> yeah. How many hashtags can we create? Yeah, no. um, What's your yeah, theory? Yeah. Well, I thought. Yeah. I, I thought maybe. 
Some, something to do with his past? Or someone, a gang maybe killed okay. someone that he knew? <laughs> 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 I have no fucking well, idea. Well, that's to do with his past. No, no, it's got to do with his future. He just asked about them. Or the I didn't have an answer, so I just tried to steal yours. And yeah, I know. You tried to steal it, but not word it like you were stealing I was it. just paraphrasing yours. <laughs> yeah. I hope no one would notice that one. Anyway. anyway they um, kill the spider, they drag it out, they put a moustache on him. You know, the classic as stuff. As you do. You yeah. said it now. All right. I can say it because I use a moderation. <laughs> That's classic. All right. Um, so they emerge in Tri Spire, which I thought beautiful name. Beautiful name. I don't know what the Tri is. It's three things, so something there. It's a spire, so it's probably got three spires. They meet uh, Lawmaster Renthra, and they wonder why people hate her. Um, you'll remember in the last couple of episodes, kind of political coup bubbling under the surface, mm. potential overthrow of the government. But they meet one of the lawmasters, and she's actually quite nice. And they're like, well, what's going on oh, there? Just why? Because they're nice to the surface doesn't mean. They aren't nice. Are nice? What the hell's that? <laughs> that's my um, that's my like listening to Dave drop knowledge pose. I was just preparing myself. Really, for... that's the pose you go with. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's pose. That's how I prepare myself for knowledge. What? That just looks like you're just having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> it just no, don't ever do that again. <laughs> I don't. Maybe I am having a stroke. I can smell burning toast. Any, anyway. Yep. Um, so Caleb... I uh, want to move on with that. Kayla offers, Caleb offers Ford um, the, the, the water kind of armour I've got written down for the fire gauntlet. Mm. So the water armour, I think it like allows you to take half damage and allows you to move freely in water, whereas yeah. normally if you're wearing like heavy plate, you can't. Yeah, because Caleb says he's got some issues with fire. Yeah. Um, so this is actually what I want to bring up Caleb Watch, because my whole theory about Caleb being a, a werewolf is slowly dying away. <laughs> a like a fire a burning. I do think he's just suffering from a PTSD that mm. is on fire. Yeah. It mm. makes okay. sense. Yeah. That's why he's all depressed if anyone suffered through um PTSD, you know that it does make you stop caring about your appearance sometimes, yeah, and yeah. it's it's basically uh, it's not I wouldn't say basically, but it has a lot of the similarities to depression. Yes, absolutely. Mm. So it seems like that could be the reasons for his aversion to mm. fire. Uh, lest the uh, turn to a werewolf and prove us wrong, um, or right. Please do in some way. That would be amazing if it did. So um, Caleb trades the fire gauntlet. Well, it essentially gets. Uh, yeah, it gets rid of that. They also cool. collect the reward. Yeah. Um, and they get kind of get get to untap, not really tap on the shoulder, but they kind of get a say, you know, where, just where you are, just in case we need help. Yeah. Again. They go back to the bathhouse after yeah. all this, which seems to be... The Leaky Tap Tavern. Yeah. Um, so instead of, instead of like sitting around a table and having a beer, like Rox Mark and it did, it seems like the Mighty Nine will be just hanging out in bathhouses. Yeah. Which, if you're in Japan, it's called an onsen. I thought it was the Leaky Tap Tavern that they went to. That was not a bathhouse. I've got written in a bathhouse. Um, I think they were talking about maybe going to the bathhouse, but I'm pretty sure they went back to the Leaky Tap Inn because that's where they found Ulog, who was from the Knights of the... We, we call the, like, the secret underground kind of... Yes, right there it was, yeah. that was. Why did I write there in a bathhouse? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's... you really want them to go to another bathhouse. Maybe I do. Maybe that's mm. just my subconscious bubbling to the surface. Or are you not listening to the episode? Dangerous right? webs of thought. I did get a bit distracted towards the end. Why? I, sh I, should, I shouldn't have. Why? No reason. We do this every week. You know... Uh, to be honest, we all get distracted. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a long episode. So, yeah. not goes to steal Ford's letter from the Academy. Oh, we're not talking about what I was talking about? All right, let's go. Let's talk about what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, so not goes to steal Ford's letter of the Academy. I think more out of curiosity than anything. Um, he wanted to see what the recommendation, kind of like what's going on behind the scenes there. Um, but Molly catches the bluff. Uh, and then, yeah, we go to the, the, the guy. So, you know, that was, a, that was a hilarious moment if you should, you should mm. watch that bit. But now we, we find the log, um, <laughs> who was part, who was the, a dwarf guy that was part of the meeting that, um, Ford and Bo went to. Yeah. Um, so he kind of summons them over and has a discussion about them and has been following them, been tracking them, seeing what their group has been doing and kind of recruits them mm -hmm. to possibly joining a coup. So essentially, he says, we've got another meeting, we want you to come, and we want you to, well, we might have something for you to do. Mm. So it looks like that's the next quest. Uh, they did seem quite engaged in this potential storyline. Yeah, not like last time, where they kind of went to it and like, oh yeah. well. Yeah. I think Matt was really pushing for this secret, some, something, this you know, on the surface, all mm. the, all the, you know, everyone in charge seems all right. Yeah. But there is some deep down brewing kind of political 
trauma that I think is going to be a very, very strong story element. I honestly think that this meeting is the crack in the door to the main story arc mm. for the next couple. And Matt's trying to push them through the and door. Like, you guys have no idea how much I worked on this. Please yeah. just go. Um, so that's cool. Mm. They find, yeah, essentially... But well, essentially they just go around, they find a ra- Ryan, uh, near the end, not all... A lot happens. I mean, they find a random dive bar and they go in. The sketchy bartender. Yeah, they meet a sketchy bartender and that's about it and leave and that's pretty much where the that's episode That's the is. episode. Yeah. So it was wonderful. I thought, yes, uh, awesome. We're seeing them work together. I have now, I would genuinely say, fallen in love with all the characters as well at this point. I, think uh, I can't say that for myself. I'm happily satisfied. I, I fall in love hard. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, I, it's hard for me to fall in love. Yeah. I should say that. Yeah. So I don't yeah. love any of them. Yeah. I like them. I fall in love hard, but then when it goes I know, away, you back. literally date someone for a few months and leave. <laughs> wow, it's been going well. Um, Truth! <laughs> Truth <laughs> Wait, bomb! I wasn't prepared, I wasn't doing my Don't do this truth weird pose. truth pose! <laughs> this is the truth pose. But what is can the I, hand? Can I get some what's the hand? This, this is, that's what's confusing me. That's, can, that's like, that's is like, that dropping something? Because no, I don't think you've ever dropped something before. <laughs> no, this is me like weaving into the neural networks of the universal consciousness. That's just me like, into the glove of consciousness. If Feels like you're just like a mime, just don't know how to mime. <laughs> Help, I'm stuck in a bubble. <laughs> anyway. Now I'm just racing anyway. the roof. Um, that's it. That's yeah, the I, I, like, I like probably my favourite. Oh, Bo actually kind of grew on me. Yeah. Because um, yeah. I've been having trouble with Bo getting my head around Bo. Sure. Um, but I really like Bo Ford. Probably Bo and Ford are probably my two favourite characters. Not for, not for me, man. All the way. I love Rogue. Uh, not, not. Yeah, I have to admit, not as well. Yeah. Just. Uh, <laughs> Basically all of them. No, no. <laughs> Caleb, Caleb not sold. Caleb, I think needs needs. <sighs> we need to figure out what's going on. Yeah, exactly. Like he's got something with fire. He's he's got something going on. Yeah, and it's always hinted at. It's always kind of like I just want to know if he's werewolf or not. Because I how think... hard is that, <laughs> Liam? Just say it. <laughs> Um, what about this? What about if we got everyone that watched this video to tweet Liam and be like, "Are you a will? Don't do that because we don't want to spoil it. We want yeah, to harass. It. Yeah, <laughs> we like you so much. We're going to harass you on Twitter. <laughs> We're going to DDoS you with some tweets. Uh, anyway, that's 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 the episode. I found it wonderful. I thought it was a great episode. Probably my favorite or second favorite of the new campaign. Mm, I really got a like, last episode, uh, as you're probably aware, and a lot of comments have has said. We went that that into the episode. Mm. Some people say we missed some things, but at the end of the day, it's our opinion on it. I mean, yeah. this, the, that's what the whole point of the show is: is to have a discussion, say our thoughts on it. It doesn't necessarily mean we're right. It yeah. definitely doesn't mean we're right, but it also doesn't mean you know you're wrong. So, so what we're essentially doing with this with this show and this channel, we're just some nerds from Wellington, New Zealand. And we wanted to connect with nerds and critters worldwide. Literally, he was the only person in real life that I found like critical role. Yeah. So. And that that's not not me. Just that that's the yeah. honest truth. You're the only one I've ever found. <laughs> Even the people I work with who are D and D, Pathfinder, tabletop, and general fanatics mm. who love board games are not into critical role. Yeah. Um, but we love it, and we just wanted to share and be part of the global critter community by beaming out these little videos. From Wellington, New Zealand, this city that's about that big in relation to the rest of the world. And next month will be a year since we're doing this show. I've got lots planned for our anniversary. Do you? I've got people with violins coming. Red roses are going to adorn all the walls because I love you, Dave. You cannot afford it. No, I can't. It's going to be a Ferrero Rocher that I've taken a bite out of. But anyway, thanks very much. Why take a bite out of it? That fucking you really good. bought it. That's good. That's why. Oh, so, you, so, so you're like, oh, I can't afford it, but yeah. what I can afford, I'm going to. Well, I'm going to have a little I'm bit. Selfish bastard. It's a, my, it's a gift. And now you know why It's the thought that counts Not you, how many bites you take uh, out Do of you know thought. why I just stopped you right there? Why? Because you're about to end the episode Before reading out the comment Oh yeah that's right um, So comments <laughs> I always forget this I right. know That's why I try and give you the chance To remember it <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me opportunities To redeem myself the, That's the only okay. Sorry, um, If you notice why I have to like Blatantly <laughs> tell him things It's because this, He misses the subtle hints That I give him That's true Because He's like a woman subtle. He's like always like oh, just, No uh, it's just, <laughs> just I don't want to waste time <laughs> That was real generalised I, I know, that was apologize. so sexist, that you have really no idea. Sexist, Your girlfriend's got to watch this. No, she's not. I'm, taking her out I'm going to send her No, that I'm going to block you from Facebook using her account. All right. so, wow, so now you're controlling over her. Dude, <laughs> whoa. 
I got so, to start like, making like, what sideways what comments. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I'm not going to talk for the rest of the episode. So, next comment is from Mr. Eli Mack. You mean the featured comment? The featured comment. What did I say? Next comment. The featured comment for this yeah. week is Mr. Eli Mack. Thank you for commenting. Yeah. Um, he says, this is probably mega wrong. Hey, that's never stopped us. Um, oh, I did the wrong thing. But what if the traveler, is, I'm watching you, is actually Jester's father? Again, I have no evidence than this, other than she's saying that the Traveller is always watching her, and she may be too innocent to realise the truth. Again, no evidence, I just thought of it. So the Traveller possibly just his father. It would, would make sense in the term, uh, the, the thing is that it doesn't seem like the Traveller's a well-known god, or yeah. we haven't seen anyone or known anyone that's known about the Traveller or follows the Traveller. Yeah. We only know Jester does. It would make sense for the Traveller if it was her father to reach out to her specifically yeah. and look after her mm. and have her back all the time. It could be like a thing of father walks out when she's very young, uh, wants to reconnect, doesn't know how, decides and just, to and be imitates being a god. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, one angle to go at it. I, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I haven't seen you for years. I could I, just introduce myself, but how about I'm a deity? Yeah, <laughs> but then when you're like, oh, I'm actually your father, you know, you're already like connected because she, she worships. I don't it think it really works. This whole thing's falling no, apart. No, no. It's like, oh, you know that deity that you've been that's honoring and me. you've based your entire life around? It's your father. I suppose that's not a great impression <laughs> no, to make when you're trying to reconnect. Terrible. It would be an interesting story point. Yeah, that's true. It yeah. just wouldn't make any sense. But um, I feel sorry for Jester. It's, man, it's, it's, but it's possible. It is possible. And uh, yeah. we will see. Because we like to theorize. Theor- Theory. Yeah, so if you've got any wild theories no matter how crazy it is, put it in the comments below. Yeah. We like reading them. Are they still up on the shop? Yeah. Yes. So if you want to buy some D20 multiverse shirts or what is, um, there's a link. Well, it's about stroking ego, isn't it? I just, I think they're cool. I like this. I've we, been wearing this for like four I, I want to buy the other colours, but I, we literally can't afford them. Yeah. Because I'm actually, I'm saving up to get one of the hoodies. Yeah, I, I want to get one of the hoodies or like the red one. Ooh. But I mean, they they're quite expensive for us because we are poor and we don't really have a lot of high paying jobs. So yeah. Um, mm. So yeah. Thanks very much for watching NBC's of Wild Mount. Buy some of your shirts because they're awesome. Or and don't. Or watch the show. That's good enough for us. Yeah, it's fine. And if you haven't subscribed, please do because it makes us happy. From myself, Oliver, Dungeon Master, and Dave. we wish you a good Dave. morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Good night. You know how I said I like that. I you changed your mind. Yeah, I, I knew you were going to I just don't don't know how I feel about it. How many bottles of vodka do you have, just by the way? Not enough. Two, three, four, one Midori. You don't know what vodka looks like, don't you? One One, was rum. Oh, that's rum. It looks like vodka. Yeah. Get help! No.